Yeah, it's it's gone through phases. <laughs> so when I first graduated, um, well, I've always been into health and exercise and healthy eating and that kind of thing, but I didn't really realize how much healthier I could be actually. Um, and so everyone would always tell me, oh, you're so healthy, healthy. But actually, I feel like now that I'm 40, I'm probably in the best shape. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They, <laughs> no idea. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life and I'm eating yeah. better than I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I feel like I do have that balance. I have two children um, and I, you know, I'm able to help them make healthy choices, right? And I know if they're sick, what I can give them. And so it's helped me for my family um, as well as my practice. Um, and it's also helped me to pursue other um, activities like sports that I probably wouldn't have, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, if mm -hmm. I hadn't become a naturopath. Awesome. I actually felt really confident that I could walk away from this profession, other than the fact that I enjoy what I do, yeah. but I could walk away from it and not feel regretful of having had the career, having studied naturopathic medicine, because yeah. it impacts me on every mm -hmm. level. I'm a parent. I'm a human being who lives on the planet, and I, I feel like many of the principles have infused my views on the world as a parent, certainly in terms of physical and, and mental and spiritual health, in terms of you know what I feed my children and what I talk to them about in terms of health promotion and disease prevention and so on. I mean, I probably <laughs> drives them crazy knowing They're so what fortunate, I do. Though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I actually feel fortunate because oh. I can take the pressure off myself as being the bad guy, especially yeah. when my kids are older, and be able to explain, you know, here's a paper that says that watching TV for more than whatever <laughs> hours a day is actually yeah. harmful to your health in these ways. And, and in that way, it's not me just being strict. It's yeah. actually me giving them a reason. Yeah. So I, I feel really lucky that I have access to that information and, and that mm -hmm. my children from the moment they were born have been exposed to those ideas and, and those principles. And so certainly as a parent, I think that's had a huge influence on, on my approach. Mm -hmm. But also the way that I care for myself from a physical perspective, how I deal with illness, both myself and my loved ones, mm -hmm. um, nutritionally, physical activity, mindfulness. You know, my lifestyle is not extreme in any way, <laughs> but, but very much affected by, by the principles of what we do in this field. But even my thoughts around religion, politics, mm -hmm. the environment, all of that is affected because I think, I feel like naturopathic principles are very wide reaching and can be interpreted very yeah. broadly. So the idea of treating the individual, the idea of education, the idea of prevention, I think those concepts are applicable on many, many levels. I've really felt that my understanding of naturopathy has affected the way that I interact with other people yeah. um, in terms of conversational styles, in terms of you know, being self-critical in how I communicate, okay. um, how I tread on the earth. I, I just really feel like it's had a huge impact. And, and, and maybe I'm in the field because I have those <laughs> values and, yeah. and maybe it's Truly. actually it's correlative <laughs> and not causative, yeah. but, yeah. but certainly complements all aspects of my life. Yeah. It's hard to tease apart how it's affected <laughs> my life because I feel like it was so instrumental in in my professional life at least. Um, my, my patients tell me all the time that it seems like I'm a teacher because of the way that I explain yeah. their health to them and the way that I explain my, my thought process start to finish with them. Um, it has hugely impacted my practice in terms of that innate kind of skill that the, that the residency helps to cultivate. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's not necessarily something that I thought the residency would do for me, but it has, and it's something that my patients consistently reflect back to me, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I think in terms of naturopathic medicine and being a student and teacher, you know, Definitely when you're a teacher of anything, um, you better well be an expert or close <laughs> to one, right? So it really helps to know the material and feel confident in the material. And, um, you know, when I do simple things in my practice like acupuncture, having taught it, um, mm -hmm. 
there's a comfort level that comes with that, right? There's a confidence that comes with it. Um, you know, when I am in my practice and I'm explaining treatment plans, they're coming from a, a place of uh, comfort and confidence again because of how much I've been, you know, involved with naturopathic medicine from a student perspective and a teaching perspective. Mm -hmm. Students certainly challenge, you know, being in a being in a clinical supervising role, um, there's so much that I've learned from interns, there's so much that I've learned from students who are shadowing interns. Uh, it really it really helps to just kind of flush out and strengthen your knowledge around anything, around treatments, around protocols, around um, discussions around all of that so you know it really has impacted my practice in a positive way because of my comfort level around naturopathic medicine and around um, treatments and things like that. Yeah. I mean naturopathic medicine is so interesting because it is not just um, it's not just a professional career it ends up impacting your beliefs Definitely. your philosophies on life mm -hmm. your way of being in the world on various levels mm -hmm. and so uh, it is it is exceptionally difficult to tease apart you know how <laughs> how um, has naturopathic uh, medicine affected my life oh my goodness I feel mm -hmm. like um, and as a student you really notice yourself kind of evolving and being pushed you know your boundaries are being challenged every every day really mm -hmm. um, my boundaries were challenged the very first day of naturopathic medicine you know learning about things like homeopathy and traditional Chinese medicine um, you know learning from dr. Anthony Godfrey about wow. the philosophy of naturopathic medicine I had I had not heard these concepts before and it shook me like to my <laughs> core right yeah. everything that I thought I knew and so um, I think it's created an openness in me that um, that I wouldn't have otherwise gotten from conventional medicine. Mm -hmm. um, I find myself being open in general in life to the possibilities because yeah. we know in naturopathic medicine that we don't necessarily have the answers and we're okay with that. Um, you know, I think there's there comes a comfort with uncertainty that I didn't have before. Yeah. Um, you know, and evidence-based medicine is an interesting concept because, and I'm saying this from a research residency perspective, um, you know, it's it's a challenging concept if if you are narrow in in what it means. Um, but to me, it's it can be a very open concept when we think about evidence from different lenses. You know, evidence can can be more than what's written down on paper and published in a peer-reviewed um, scientific journal, right? It's evidence really, can yeah. be, uh, you know, the way that your patient presents to you and the clinical um, experience that you gather from patient visits. And so, mm -hmm. um, it's it lends itself to openness when when you go through this program and are being challenged in so many different capacities, both from a teaching perspective, going through the program academically, um, from a clinical standpoint, and from a philosophical standpoint too. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, huge ways that it's impacted my life. Yeah. Wow, I, I mean, I think uh, being a student of naturopathic medicine um, has uh, influenced my life in that um, you know, my, Dr. Raz and I, uh, my wife and I, always kind of look back and think about even if we never practiced, you know, after graduating, you know, we never, didn't practice a day, didn't work at CCNM, and just completely changed courses of career. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, the, the cool thing about naturopathic medicine is that it gives you um, some really valuable life experience and knowledge, right? Like, you know, no matter what you, when you graduate from naturopathic medicine, you graduate as a doctor and a healthcare practice, you know, uh, professional. So, automatically, when it comes to taking control of your own health or making health decisions for yourself or your family, you already have a leg up on the average person, right? Like you understand what the doctor, when any kind of doctor tells you, mm -hmm. you know, um, this is the health situation, or for your parents, this is the health situation, or for your, your kids, this is your health situation, and. You, you you have a context on which to make health care decisions, you know, for your family. And this is, that's amazing, you know, it's... Definitely. Because if you were, if you, maybe you came through and you were an accountant, 
and that was your training like obviously that helps you with finances and so on but um, when it comes to something as important as health you may not have that same context um, by which to guide your healthcare decisions right and and so um, so no matter what I think as a student as of naturopathic medicine I think that's a really valuable knowledge to gain um, and really valuable skills to gain so you know and it'll benefit you know your parents your kids yourselves your friends you know your your family so so that in and of itself is, is you know I'm very very thankful for so as a teacher I think that that's a whole other um, set of rewards that you get you know um, one of the things I like doing is being a part of like very physical um, technical skills like let's say doing B12 shots or um, manips or whatever because what I love seeing is when the student gets it when they you know let's say for for any puncture they come into the class typically quite sort of anxious and scared about about doing it because they don't want to hurt the person and so on and so forth and they're like you know how am I getting draw blood from this person right how am I gonna do that and um, at the end of you know even one session mm -hmm. they realize what that they can do it and when you see that moment where they, they realize that and they have that sort of aha mm -hmm. moment that I can do this <laughs> I can actually draw blood from someone or I can I can you know do an injection and give somebody B12 like that is like so cool you know and 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 you watch them like realize that they have all this ability and uh, it's just amazing to, to see that you know it's really fun for me to see mm -hmm. um, and so by the end of that course they're comfortable doing you know they're at least much more comfortable doing a blood draw or giving an injection or doing a nip you know whereas maybe before they were very apprehensive about it so mm -hmm. um, I think that that is really really rewarding and, and you know um, it's nice to get that immediate gratification, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but of course, it's also really um, cool to to see, you know. I've I've been able to see where like a student that I maybe TA'd in first year or second year, you know, and then sort of watch them develop uh, from first year to fourth year, and where I've maybe had them in my clinic group, um, and watch them be able to apply that knowledge and and all that kind of stuff um, that they've gained throughout the program from all sorts of different teachers, and then sometimes even be lucky enough to see them go through the residency program and then sometimes even see them teach at the at the college and so like that is really really amazing to see as well so um, that's really that's that's something that I've you know um, really been able to enjoy seeing and um, been lucky to be able to see so um, that's a different kind of gratification but it's really it's great it's great to see so uh, from teaching that's I think that's one, one of the big things that I get. So I think naturopathic medicine is really a lifestyle. It's something you enter into and at first you might not apply a lot of the principles to your own life, but the more you're engaging in the profession, the more you, you really start to incorporate it. Mm -hmm. And I think that being in this profession just really has helped me to realize that health has so many different dimensions. Mm -hmm. Like I think that we really do a disservice to ourselves when we just look at the quickest solution and the fastest fix. Mm -hmm. So I think that a lot of my own learning has really influenced just how I view health and then how I view life as well. Like mm -hmm. looking at the whole picture, looking at the whole person and trying to figure out what do they need in order to feel fulfilled or in order to feel better. Mm -hmm. Before I came here, I was a teacher um, already, and so I was teaching math and science uh, primarily. And one of the reasons I left is because I realized that, um, well, well, we sort of already knew that you get quite good at what you're teaching eventually, right? Over time, you you know, I I, I am still quite good at completing the square <laughs> and uh, and I know the electron transport chain yeah. fairly well and all that sort of stuff um, but what it felt like was that I was getting very good I had, a, I had excellent knowledge of stuff that was relatively unimportant yeah. um, and not to say that uh, parabolas aren't important um, they're the basis for a lot of stuff it's just that what are you going to do with that knowledge other than teach it Mm -hmm. So 
to be a teacher of naturopathic medicine is to simultaneously help others um, learn naturopathic medicine, but also to improve as a clinician um, if you do it right and if you do it carefully. So, so it's that double benefit. Um, it's also the difference between teaching people who genuinely want to learn um, and people who are being f possibly forced to learn. I mean, you know, grade 10 math, yeah. there's not a lot of people who are choosing to be there. <laughs> um, so there's a very different attitude about, yeah. um, about that than there is about learning naturopathic medicine. So mm -hmm. it's, it's being in a classroom or in a tutorial setting or in a, cl a clinic setting and teaching people who want to learn and at the same time um, improving as a clinician yourself. It's, it's like yeah. just winning all around. Yeah, uh, that does not get summed up because you continue <laughs> to be a student and you continue to, you know, you just continue. How has it impacted my life? When I entered CCNM, I was coming from a place where, you know, I, I knew finally, you know, this is something I want to do. I should mention, I do interviews for the college and one of the questions that I love asking people is, what are you passionate about? Because when you find yourself in a, in a position where it seems like everything is against you, you kind of have to remember that passion. Definitely, yeah. You definitely have to draw on that passion. You have to draw on why you're here. So one of the things that I, I noticed about my journey is compared to my university experience, I was doing maybe three or four times more in terms of work, um, um, studying. I was just juggling a whole bunch. Interestingly, it was probably one of the easiest times of my life. Yeah, really. Which is the funniest thing. And, and why I say that is, kindergarten, for example, you had to go to. Yeah. High school, you had to go to. University, sometimes you have to go to university. Going into a profession like this one, sometimes you choose mm -hmm. to be here. And with that choice, there comes, there's, a, there's a piece that comes with it. So for me, knowing that I chose to be there, but also knowing that I had to do as much as I had to work three part-time jobs in my first year even, or um, oh you know, live in residence, wow. support myself in, in this capacity. I don't think of those things as bad things because those, those are the things that balanced me and helped me remember that yes, you're doing that, but it still, it felt like it was still going along the right course and it yeah. felt easy in that respect. I'm not yeah. saying the work was easy, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying yeah. how it felt, it felt less of a struggle than it did when I was in university, for example. Yeah. So um, in that regard, being a student in that, <clears throat> thinking, of, thinking of being a student and how that changed my life, I learned to multitask, I learned to juggle, I learned to kind of prioritize, I learned to not sweat so much of the stuff that people sweat <laughs> or at least try to and as a practitioner now I try to bring those uh, principles and those qualities and those lessons into what I do so yeah. it's not over <laughs> it's probably just beginning and every time you think you have reached it don't believe it because that's not, there's always something going to be learning you're going to be learning something. Learning never ends. This is what we grew wow. up learning. Yeah. So <laughs> learning never ends, whether it's through life, yeah. whether it's in a formal setting. And I feel um, the, the being a student and being a practitioner right now have taught me that you will always be learning. Even when you think you know it all, don't, don't be comfortable mm -hmm. in feeling that because then you might as well throw in your towel and say, okay, I'm done. What else is there to learn if you feel like you know it all and you don't? So you continue learning, so you learn to stretch your boundaries, you learn how to be open to learning more, and just um, embracing the journey as you go along. Yeah. First of all, I'm doing what I love, uh, which means I'm actually happier than I've been in a very long time. Um, it, it makes me happy to, to do the research, it makes me happy to see patients, to help people, um, to teach. Uh, so this is this is my life's journey, this is my path, this is what I want to do. So, it, it's, yeah, it basically it makes me happy. Yeah. Um, so that's a pretty important impact. Yeah. Uh, and then variety, being the spice of life, as I said, I don't like to be bored. Um, and this, the constant change, the new things that keep coming up, um, it's impossible to get bored in medicine, it's impossible to be bored here. Mm -hmm. um, 
so I'm, I'm that's that's really making me uh, happy as well. Um, support for private practice startup. Uh, there's a lot of support available here. So if I've got a question, if, if a student comes to me and I'm supposed to be teaching them and they say, what do I do about this herb in pregnancy? I have no idea what to do. I don't have much experience with pregnancy. I don't know what to do either. <laughs> but I know who to ask. Yeah. And I managed to pick uh, Dr. Zambri's brain for 20 minutes with the student yeah. there too. Yeah. So I get to be a teacher and a student at the same time. Yeah. And I get to fill my gaps. I help. I get to help my students fill in their gaps. Um, so there's sort of a richness that comes yeah. to that. Comes with that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's also helpful to students to realize that their supervisors don't always know the answers, and that it's okay to not know the answers. The trick is finding the answers when you need them, mm -hmm. and then how to do that. How to get those answers. So I found that rather an, an enriching experience. As a student, it was exciting because I got to just, I felt like eventually I'm going to become this thing. Like, it was this light at the end of the tunnel, like, one day I'm going to yeah. be a doctor. And I just held on to that. And yeah. I, just, I was so excited because I've wanted it for so long, since like probably grade nine. And then yeah. it just kind of got me through. Mm -hmm. And um, I think then when I finally became a doctor, it's still even hard for me to say. <laughs> It just, I was like, oh, okay, so it's done, like, really? And I just, it's, or someone at first, they were like, Dr. Irons, I didn't even turn around, because I was like, are they talking Is that me? Like, it just hasn't fully set in. It started to now. It's taken mm -hmm. a year. But, I don't know, it just, the student life was just, has really been my whole, all of my 20s, even yeah. since I was a teenager, and so I'm finally done, and it feels really good. Like, yeah. I have less stress in my life, I think, now. Mm -hmm. um, there was moments, yeah, just with all the exams and having to just decide over getting a really good mark on this exam or seeing my family this weekend and just there were, those really started to get tiring. And yeah. I think NPLEX was like the final <laughs> bang. Like, after that, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to be a student anymore. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's why I felt like my passion went down because you still have to be a student when you're in ND. Like, every day a student asks me a question that I need to be able to want to look up more. Yeah. Because it's easy yeah. to just not care and not put anything into this, but I, I would never want to be that person. So mm. I'm still like, even when you came in, I was reading up <laughs> on, on things I want to teach them later that oh, cool. I don't fully know of yet. So, yeah. um, but then becoming a doctor is just like I finally have reached this thing that I've been working for and so now I feel like I need to pick something new because <laughs> I, that's all I know how to do but yeah. um, I feel really proud about what I do and who I am and mm -hmm. I think being at the school and seeing the students and knowing that I've you know like I'm at this other side of it now mm -hmm. just it really gave me a lot more confidence in myself mm -hmm. like I just finally felt more fulfilled in who I am. I just feel really happy. Yeah. It yeah. feels really good to finally get there. Like as I'm sure all the people watching and you <laughs> will as well. It just it's such a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's changed my life, and uh, I think initially I was a little bit resistant. I I was the type of person that came into naturopathic medicine not really knowing much about it at all, okay. right? In terms of some of the dietary staples maybe I'd say that we would expect in the naturopathic profession so I didn't really know anything and my diet was was not ideal I'll say okay. that yeah so I mean in that sense I kind of came in it a little bit blindly and I learned a lot about health and I learned a lot about diet and lifestyle and the connection between mind and body intuitively you know that it's there but you don't really necessarily pay as much attention to it or at least I didn't before getting into the program so you know becoming a student I think and then becoming a patient at the RSNC seeing your own intern and then going through the program as you're doing that mm -hmm. it was awesome because you know you're there as a patient and a student and a potential practitioner mm -hmm. and through that it just it, it changes your life so I changed my diet I went on the elimination diet for a month which I think everybody has done at some <laughs> point and that was life-changing right yeah. because you realize the impact of food on your health and you realize how how intimately they're connected and you can mm -hmm. change the way that you eat and change the way that you feel um, so easily and it's something that you have control over organically um, mm -hmm. which is just awesome so in that sense you know just from a health perspective it changed my life because it taught me a lot about my body and 
about how to make sure that it's healthy and how, how to respect it. Um, and then also through the program, you know, you do a lot of mental work and it's because the program and the curriculum prepares you as a clinician to help other people to some degree at least be aware of what it is that they're struggling with internally. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, that was interesting, right? It's always a work in progress for yourself when you're looking in and, and you're trying to kind of examine your own vulnerabilities and your own insecurities and everything that makes you who you are. So I think, you know, being a naturopathic doctor and also having been a naturopathic student and having been a naturopathic resident, mm -hmm. it does change your life because it forces you to grow and learn in ways that you otherwise, I don't think, would have embarked upon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it gives me a, some insight as to, as to what it's like to be a student so I can commiserate with the workload and the time and the investment and the, the difficulty, but also the motivation, the excitement, the challenge yeah. of being a student and getting to see patient cases and things like that. So yeah. in a way, I think it, well, I know I would certainly say it makes me a better teacher because mm -hmm. I've been through the process myself mm -hmm. so I can speak from a place of experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you.